within the system. For instance, accounting. How do you account if you're a professional musician? What's the best way to, to, to qualify yourself? How do you, do you uh, apply for tax relief? Uh, how do you put yourself? Do you call yourself employed or self-employed? Uh, what are the benefits of, of both areas? Um, how, do you, how do you develop a business of music yourself? And how do you function with that? Such things as grantsmanship. How do you go after sponsorship? Oh, and also to teach some of the things that are really never taught at university. Playing an instrument is so difficult and I think one of the frustrating things is that a lot of people are, don't realize it and it's because it's, it's an art and we obviously love what we're doing, a lot of people, you know, think, oh, isn't that great, you know, you're just doing what you love, but I don't think that they look at how much work we've put into it and how many summer programs we've been doing that. I started violin when I was seven and it's been a lot of hard work and a lot of frustration because it's not an easy thing and I guess just uh, perseverance and just, you know, having enough love for what you're doing to continue with the, st the studies. Having had the pleasure of listening to the music of the National Academy Orchestra and the opportunity to hear from those same members, we hope that you feel as we do now, that this is one of the great contributions to Canada's classical music community. If you'd like to learn more about the NAO or make a donation, please feel free to contact them at area code 905-525-7664. From the shores of Lake Rosso at Windermere House, I'm Heather Labatt. Thank you for watching.